and oh my god have you guys looked at the calories in some of your specialty cocktails whoa hey you guys so i decided to jump on the camera and just make a whoa why why see this whole hairstyle that i'm trying to do ain't working my hair is constantly unraveling oh well i kind of miss my fro but at the same time i had to you know do something to it because it was a lot going on and it was getting really dry so i had to do this All right, so if you guys read the title down below, you will see something that says a little bit like, uh, I gained all the weight back. <laughs> you're probably looking at me, you're probably saying, where? Right, okay, so let me explain. So technically, I did not gain all the weight back. Like, that would have been a lot of weight to gain back personally at such a short amount of time. And homegirl like to eat and all, but that's not what happened. Just about... Let's say hmm, about 10 to 15 pounds. And now, to some of you guys, you're probably thinking, really? 10 to 15, you're, you're complaining about 10 to 15 pounds. But for some of you guys who are out there trying to lose this weight or you lost the weight and you have gained some of it back, a lot of times you beat yourself up about it. So I kind of want to just make this video just to kind of share my experience with losing a lot of weight and then gave me some back and how it's really a mental thing more so than anything it's a mental thing but to recap on this whole weight loss journey that i've been on for about ooh, what year is it it's been about almost a year and a half to two years going on um because what is it 2017 no yes it's so almost two years um back in 2015 probably around like the summertime i decided to start losing weight because like i stated before i was getting tired of being tired walking up a whole flight of stairs so i decided to do something about it and i started eating better cutting my portions any smaller portions i guess that's the same thing um watching what i'm eating um i stopped pop completely only drink water and coffee and occasional alcohol <laughs> So I lost a total of around 60 pounds. I got down to about my lightest was, I want to say 149. And then all of a sudden last summer, which was 2016, um, I want to say about August time, around the time of August, I like shot up to like 168. So for me, it was kind of like a, oh my God, what did I do? Like my entire hard work and dedication is dead after actually thinking about it i realized it's a mental thing so i guess at that time i was kind of like comfortable in my weight i was running right i was running a lot you know getting down get get down and it became winter time and it started getting a little bit colder outside and i completely just stopped working out um i stopped running because I, at that time i didn't have a gym membership i was just technically just going outside and running on the trail um <clears throat> and so i had stopped because it was too cold Instead of going and actually getting a gym membership, I just didn't do anything. I wasn't working out at home. I wasn't trying to do, I wasn't really trying to eat healthier. Like I was still watching what I was eating, but at the same time, I was going out a lot. So not only was my waistline, you know, not slim, but so was my pocket, book, my purse, you know? So I was feeling it as in I was gaining weight and I also was losing a lot of money because I was constantly going out, partying with my friends, living up you know the big life and i was eating whatever i wanted at that time and i'm thinking oh yeah i'm smaller i can do whatever i want but in all honesty i can't i still need to watch what i'm eating or what i'm consuming so i gained a ton of weight back and again for some of you guys it may not be a ton but for me and for my frame it is a lot of weight or with someone who has struggled with their weight over time and then finally getting down to like a size that you're comfortable with it could be a mental thing that kind of breaks you down and you're like okay i'm done i'm i quit yeah but that wasn't the case so after constantly or after like going on youtube watching videos reading books and actually just thinking through what possibly was going on i realized that i technically wasn't too bad i wasn't in a bad spot now, if i would have gained all the weight back then it kind of would have been like i think i would if i would have felt it more and it would have been more of a bigger hit on me but that's when i had to sit down and actually think about what i was doing wrong so 
I knew that I was going out of party. I knew I was drinking alcohol. I knew I was addicted to Starbucks and it was getting a little out of hand. Um, I was probably drinking Starbucks, I have to say probably three times a day. And that is really bad. On top of drinking the, the coffee and having specialty drinks, I was also getting food from Starbucks. Cause I was at this job where I was like right by Starbucks. It was in a mall and I was going to Starbucks every single morning for lunch and right after I left on my on my shift. So I was drinking Starbucks all the time. Um, and when you really sit down and look at calories, which y'all know I don't count calories. I, I, I don't, I don't like math. I hate math, no. But this time I actually had to sit back and I had to think about what I was consuming. I realized all the calories that I was intaking probably had to be over 3,000 calories within just Starbucks alone. Because if you look at a drink, sometimes a drink could be like 400 some calories. And then I was get a cookie, which was like 130 calories, or a piece of cake, which was 259 calories. So depending upon, and if I was having it three times a day, on top of going home and eating dinner, which at that point, I really wasn't paying attention to what I was eating. I was either stopping at jerk chicken, at the jerk chicken place and getting jerk chicken, or I was getting jerk chicken tacos, or I was going and getting chipotle, just different things. I was consuming things that I knew my body couldn't technically break down. And I was over consuming compared to what my body was used to from a year ago. So that was one thing. Two was a mental. I completely technically clocked out. I just was like, whatever. Um, so I wasn't working out at all. I know for a fact my body works well with cardio. I hate cardio. Lord knows I hate cardio. But I know if I want to stay on like the slimmer side or um, or I just want to keep burning fat, I know my body works so good, so well when it comes to cardio. I love to personally lift weights, but I know I'm going to get super bulky and I'm just going to build muscle on top of that. And that's not what I really want to do because you also got to remember when you build muscle, you gain weight. It is what it is. So I realized I was missing a really big pivotal part of my whole weight loss or just lifestyle change. I stopped moving. I just stopped moving. I was not doing cardio. My body was used to the cardio and I wasn't doing it any longer. So that was the one thing that I had to realize. Then on top of that, I had to realize that, girl, you gained 10, 15 pounds. It's really not that big of a deal. Lose it again. Lose it. Quickly. Please. <laughs> no. But I realized that 10 to 15 pounds really was not a lot to have to lose again because I realized I lost 60 pounds before. I can lose 10 to 15 pounds again. I just need to be really careful of what I consume. So I guess this video was really more so for everyone out there who was trying to lose weight or in the process of losing weight or had lost weight and gained some of the weight back. It's okay if you gain some of the weight back because first of all, as women, our body is going to fluctuate with weight. It is what it is. But also, just get back on there start back working out moving your body needs to move and watching what you eat he paying attention to that kind of stuff kind of just woke me up and was like duh chick this is why you're gaining this weight it's because you're eating everything in his mama out there so i was always bloated so what i decided to do is just jump back on it so now i actually bought a membership i know i finally have my own gym membership um where i do work out i try to work out four times a day I'm gonna go more in depth into the situation uh, in another video, probably the next video, of what I'm doing to just, you know, jump start, I guess, this whole lifestyle change again. I actually gave up coffee for the whole month of March, and I will say I have definitely seen a difference in everything. Everything. Okay. So I would definitely make another video explaining more so of what I've been doing, um, how it's going, um, what I need to do again, what I need to do differently. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it was kind of like a big pick me up or inspiring in some way. <laughs> to you guys out there, um, if you are gaining the weight back or you can't lose the weight, just keep going and just pay more attention to what you're doing. It is a mental thing, it isn't anything else but you having to say stop, <laughs> wake up. What am I doing to myself that is causing this problem? And from there, you got this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe somewhere down below on the floor. <laughs> and until next time, you guys.